It's no limo in here, but the seats are quite wide and the middle seat is pretty good as well. And if you're carrying a baby in the back with a baby seat, well, the Isofix bar is easily accessible from under this plastic cover here. So it's pretty nice in the back of the Evoque. Now and then once you're in, well, there's clearly a little bit more knee and foot room as well, and no shortage of headroom above, for example. In front of me here, you've got two vents just like the Evoque and you've got two USB-C ports, but you also gain heater or climate controls so you can change the temperature in the back. If you don't go for the plug-in hybrid Discovery Sport, you also gain a pair of third row seats which fold out of the boot floor. So we thought we'd have a boot off and straight away you can see our Discovery Sport has more room. If I put it in here, you'll see it's got plenty of room around it because firstly, it's got a lower floor. The car is higher, but the floor is easier for him to get into. He has more space and it's got a retractable parcel shelf as well, 